The CAD diagnostic decision tree is well defined and standardized. Nevertheless, this guideline evolves with drug spectrum and power and as science progresses in understanding CAD mechanisms. When facing a new dermatological clinical case, the medical history and clinical examination will allow the veterinarians to set a list of differentials that fit, that correspond with the findings. As no additional test exists to validate the CAD, veterinarians have to investigate and rule out the other causes. Frequently, this phase will need a few additional tests, such as skin scraping, blood samplings, fungal culture, microscopic examination or biopsies. Flea bite hypersensitivity will also have to be eliminated with an anti-parasitic drug. After reading out the other possible differentials, as CAFR and CAD may have the same lesion pattern, a food elimination trial followed by a challenge will discern food allergen involvement from environmental allergen. Yes, clinical signs of CAFR are not different from CAD. The only validated way to identify if food allergens are involved in the pruritic dermatosis is to avoid eating them during an eight weeks period, which is the elimination phase. This is followed by a reintroduction or challenge phase. And if there is a total or partial return of clinical sign, that would definitely prove their responsibility. Medical history collection, clinical examination, diagnostic decision tree and elimination diet trial are the four mandatory steps of diagnosing CAD. No additional tests are reliable in assessing either type 4 hypersensitivity or whether is an existing cutaneous barrier alteration. Today, the only diagnostic tools available are Farrow's criteria that can help diagnosing CAD, the patch test, and more or less antrolamol test, skin prick test, Ig serology, which can only help identifying allergens, but cannot be used for diagnosis. The transepidermal water loss is an assessment of skin barrier function but is technically um, not readyable for use in veterinary patients with air covering the skin. Being allergic to food allergen or environmental allergen, or both, does not really modify the way to diagnose or treat the dermatosis. As we understand that skin barrier alteration allow contact between the immune system and different types of allergens present in the environment, co-sensitization to environment allergen, CAD, and food allergen, CAFR, are frequent. And in this case of both CAD and CAFR, following the diagnostic decision tree, elimination diet trial step will show a partial improvement of the dog's clinical sign. This is reinforced by a relapse during the challenge test and a diagnosis of both CAD and CAFR will be then established. <laughs>